What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode on Fountain of You. So, I've been uh, messing around between the episodes and uh, figuring out all the crafting and, and building, or at least try to figure out all the crafting and building stuff. And uh, it uh, looks like we're going to need the uh, workbench and the carpentry workbench to do anything so that's uh probably what we should work for i also upgraded the small storage into a protected box which uh gives all the all the food more uh more durability or, or they spoil slower in this chest so that's that's definitely nice actually eat a little bit here too and uh, here's what I have so far for crafting materials and building stuff. My spear broke, so I had to make a new one. But I'm interested to see. Like, I'm, I'm just holding on to these to see if, if I can repair them at some point. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, in the previous episode I was thinking of uh, building up up there. Somewhere in the grasslands. But uh, then I figured that if, if we're going to actually go and, and sail the seas, so I might actually want to build on the on the shore here. But uh, I, I have no clue if, if this is a good spot or like which, which side on the island I should build. It looks like there's stuff like uh, all, all over the place. This map seems kind of uh kind of big so i looks looks like there's some some islands up up north and then there's the shipwreck on that side but i think i think for for this uh starter base i'm i'm just going to do it on the, on this beach and then uh once once we get to like, sailing the seas with our raft or Whatever we manage to do, I can always just uh, hopefully pick up everything and, and move to a better, better spot if 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 uh, this is a bad place to build. But I really have no clue where I should build, so I figured I might as well just do it here. So, but uh, yeah, I think we should have everything we need for the for the regular workbench. So let's just. Place one of those down. Eh, I guess here's good a place as any. So I need uh, two long sticks, two rope, and four small sticks. So two of these, four of these, and then two rope. Yeah, my axe, axe durability is getting down too, so that's, that might be an issue, but I can always make the stone axes if I run out of the durability on this one before I can fix it up. Assuming I can fix it up, I'm really hoping I can, because otherwise it was kind of useless thing to bring from the boat. So, what did we unlock? It said that we unlocked a blueprint, but... Oh yeah, I found one of these uh, ancient hunting drawings while I was gathering gathering up the materials. It was uh, just next to the whale bones outside the cave we found uh, in the last episode. And here you can see all of the all the skills we've made made up so far. There seems to be quite a lot of those. I actually haven't really look through these yeah there's there's a lot of lot of stuff in the game that oh palm juice collector sounds nice make a coconut rainwater collector oh yeah that's uh 
probably the main thing that I actually want to make is a, some sort of water collector because uh, the water seems to be a bit of an issue because so far the only oh didn't want that so far the only source of water that I've seen or found is is the uh, coconuts and they don't really uh, don't really uh, replenish fast enough to be uh, like a reliable source so I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to make the the water catcher today uh, we should be good for now and then we can make the woodworking bench where is it there it is oh there's an improved workbench apparently that I unlock with the the workbench but it looks like it takes a split log which I assume we can make with this one so let's just put this next to this one so we need a log six sticks and two rope alrighty should have all of those as well look at me all prepared Our, our axe is going to be gone pretty soon, but there we go. Got two new blueprints from that. And what do we get? Probably. Yep, there we go. Can make a half log, hollow log, split log, and a builder toolkit, which is, I think, what we want for actually building a, bu uh, building a place ourselves and that takes a log okay but uh, let's uh oh we can improve the bench too with a copper ingot no, well that's not gonna happen anytime soon I don't think uh where was the uh I think it was just here, the water catcher. Machines, maybe? Wood dehydrator, coconut water rain collector. And we need a coconut flask, which is here. So we need a ripe coconut and a rope. Shouldn't be a problem, either. There we go. And then if we go here and press F for blueprints, we can just go straight into crafting what we can with that one. And uh, yeah, let's make one of those. And now we should have the blueprint. Yep. Coconut rainwater collector. And I really hope I had some white leaves. Uh, let's just put it here. Up. Oh. Always keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, so we need rope, sticks, and one of those white leaves. Wow, the rope is really going down fast. I thought I had a decent amount, but not so much. Small sticks, I think. I almost couldn't see the <laughs> see the ghost image. Oh, no tool. What do I need? A hammer? Eh, how do I make a hammer, then? Tools? Stone axe, obsidian axe, wooden hammer. Okay, so... We need a big branch. Gathered from some leafy trees. Huh. I don't think I've come across that so... That might be an issue too, but let's let's see if we can make uh, one of these builder toolkits. Uh, let's just go cut, go cut some of these down here. Yeah, might as well harvest everything first and then 
cut it down. And it looks like I'm gonna have to make a... Oh, I'm gonna carry one at a time. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to... I have to make a new axe pretty soon here. Oh, I need a saw. Uh, what do I? How do I make a saw then? A stone saw. I need one massive. Oh yeah, I found found uh, one of these massive, or a couple of these massive stones just up the hill there, where there's the um, like stone node you can grab up there, where you get the regular stones. There was uh, one of those bigger stones right next to it too. So. Should have yep, I got two here, so do I just make the saw on me or oh I need the workbench for that. Makes sense. Let's do that and then now we have a saw and it's night time already. Oh boy. To sleep through the night, and then I have to have to cook some food in the morning too. So let's just uh, sleep for nine hours. Yeah, that should be good. And then let's start the fire. Add a little bit more fuel. There we go. And let's cook up two of these. Might as well. Put out the fire and have a little breakfast. Well, that really didn't fill me up as much as I thought it would. Oh well. Now let's see. Can I make this one? Yes, I can. So let's do that. Now I got 15 new blueprints. Okay. So, for... Oh, you can make a dock. Oh. And that takes three of those toolkits. Okay. And then, there we go. That's the thing I wanted. So, there's a foundation. And a foundation piece. Okay. So is this like a smaller foundation or or does it have higher legs or foundation piers? Huh. No clue what that means. Uh walls. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need a bunch of uh we need more long sticks and uh more of those toolkits, so I'll grab the grab the second log from here and make some more of those toolkits. And this is uh, kind of different from uh, other other building mechanics so far I've seen. doing. Uh, what do I do with these? Make a primitive barrel if I have a hollow log as well. Well, I guess I'll throw these here so I'm not weighed down by them. Ah, that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Just have to pay more attention next time. Can I get any... 
coconuts from these? No, it doesn't look like it. So let's just cut this down. Yeah, my axe is almost completely gone now, so... Really? That only... The big tree only gave me one log. Oh, and I leveled up my athletics. Nice. And strength, too. Hopefully that'll help me carry stuff. Should actually see what that does. Uh, strength. Go. Increased max carry weight. Nice. Increased damage. Melee combat. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely something we want. And we definitely want reduced stamina drain. And increase the stamina recovery speed. Okay, now let, let's try and actually make these uh, toolkits. There we go. So yeah, I was thinking this is pretty, pretty nice flat spot over here. I'm kind of thinking here between these rocks would be a good place, and then we can have our our dock on the on the water there. But like I said, I've I've no clue where I should build, so I have to start somewhere. Oh, we need the stones. I should probably get the stones and lawn sticks. on me as well. And now I'm soaked. Oh, that's just wonderful. Do I have... I only have the right... Oh yeah, and I found one of... some of these plutonias, but they don't seem all that great, because you get six food and two water, but then... There's three chan three percent chance of indigestion, so I'm I'm hoping I can uh, make something with those. I'll use them as an ingredient for something, or oh no, I only have one stone, really. Well, clearly wasn't uh, wasn't prepared for for my building as well as I thought I was. Uh, you know what? We're gonna change up the plan and, uh... Go and explore some more. Because I really need to... Really need to get some more stones and, uh... Hopefully find one of those big branches to make the hammer with. So I'll just drop everything I don't need here. To clear our weight up, but as much as I can, and, uh, yeah, that doesn't really give me any water either, yeah, well, it's better than nothing, barely, but, I guess I should try out these Plutonians and see. Yeah, they, they really don't give much of anything. I'm not going to get indigestion from these. Well, the food is decently off, but the water is still a problem. So I haven't really been exploring much. I've just gathered what I could, like around the grassy area here. But I really, really thought that I had enough of stuff. Yeah, here's the stone pile that I grabbed the stones in the first episode, I think. And then there was a big rock appeared over here. Since uh, there was, I think there was a, an update or maybe even two from the last time I played. Which they, they in, in one of the patch notes that I read, they stated that they did something for the stone spawn rate, so I'm... Um, thinking that they made the stone easier to get, which is definitely appreciated. Here's 
use a massive stone. And some small sticks. Not that I really need those, but... Oh yeah, for small sticks, those uh, spiky looking branches down there. They're really, really good for the small sticks. You can just pick them up there. But unfortunately... They don't give anything else except the small sticks. So, oh, here we go. It's a badger. One of those short-eared dogs is the game calls them. There we go. Uh, what do we have? Oh, an orange tree. Definitely get some of those. Is there more? Yes, there is. I really hope they give you a good amount of uh, hydration. And I really wish I had the rain catcher now that it's raining, but... Oh yeah, it's in water, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, now we're, now we're looking good. I still have six of those left, so... I'm really worried about the chamomile. I should probably go and see what the shimmer is over there, but... Also, don't want to get too distracted from <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Uh oh, that looks like a big drop. Yeah, it looks like I can climb decently. Yeah, there's definitely something shimmering over there, but. Don't know if it's a. Uh, Something I should be doing it. Oh, there we go. Something I should be going for at this time. I really wish it was uh, not so dark and foggy for you guys. But if it's uh, if it's too dark, I'll see if I can. Brighten it up in editing again. Because it looks like it might be pretty bad on YouTube <laughs> at this point. I uh, don't need anything like that. Don't need any tobacco. Oh, there's the shimmer. I feel like there's going to be snakes somewhere around here. Yep. Let's, let's throw it in. And not get ourselves bit. There we go. Now well, let's get the... Uh, oh, except that I don't have a... Cutting knife or cutting tool. Let's do one of these quickly. And... Oh. I hurt myself. A minor cut. Well, that's not great. I should be able to make some bandages back at the. I got our little outpost over there. Oh, it's a rock that's shimmering. Interesting. Oh, it's one of those rock rock faces again. Okay. Oh, we got a perk point. I'll look into those too. Okay, so that's apparently it's a Bimini civilization story. All right. Number 15. Song of the Golden Age. And from the day the Palace of Trials was built, the Golden Age began. It was the era of wise chieftains, brave soldiers, ingenious healers, and skillful skillful craftsmen. The best of them presented their deeds for the judgment of the council of four tribes, and the great four were at the head of the council. Well, okay. The, the council chose the best of the best and called them the honored ones. The honored ones then sailed the storm breakers through the fog of the belts to pass through the Palace of Trials on Bimini. 
The worthy who passed all trials were named the highest ones. They drank the waters of fountain to prolong their years and took the water with them in special vessels to give them to give to whoever they chose. Those who were granted such a gift were called the gifted ones. The faces of all the highest ones were curved in stone. And the golden age lasted for many centuries. Okay. Now let's see what we can do with the perk point. Concentration. Uh oh. So. Available with the V key. This mode special objects, weapons, ammo, and dropped bags are highlighted. Hmm? Sounds pretty good. Uh, resist, resist diseases. Uh, that's probably something. And poison. Thirst control. The water containing food gives five water bonus. Yeah, that might be a pretty, pretty good one. Hunger control. Not really struggling for food at the moment. Better sleep, I'm not really having problems with the with the sleep, assuming I just remember to sleep through the through the night. And learning. Gives ten percent earned skill points bonus. Well that that's definitely something we probably want as early as we can. But I, I'm thinking I'm gonna Buffalo Potion, huh? No idea what that does, so I don't, uh, don't think I'll go for that, but I might go for the thirst control, cause, no, actually, cause I just got the, uh, got the oranges, so I'll just go for the learning, cause 10% earned skill points bonus is like a, su well, it just works throughout the whole gameplay, so. It looks like those uh, skill points are, are definitely useful. Is it... Uh, oh, it's the middle of the night. Already? Oh, boy. really want to find those branches. Got some mahogany over here, which doesn't give any branches. Some mushroom tinder I might as well get. The the mushroom tinder is actually a really good tinder material, surprisingly. It cuts down the uh, fire starting, or the ignite duration, 40%, which is so far the best I've seen, I think. Could also get some more, some more liana if I find it somewhere. I have no clue where to get the, uh, get the actual, uh, branches. What? It's hitting me. Oh, really? That snake was really, really well hidden, at least for me. I don't know how you guys can see it. But it doesn't look like we... It doesn't look like we uh, got any... Poison from that, so that's nice at least. But I really should should be heading back to the... Now what the hell is this? I'm just... <laughs> stumbling on all the animals here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna got, cut this here because it's so dark, but uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back at the... Back at the base in the morning. So, see you there. Alright, welcome back. Well, I made it back to the, back to the camp here and uh, had myself a little breakfast. And let's uh, drop 
this guy off here. Uh, these give me some water, which actually I can use right about now. Hope I don't get any food poisoning or anything like that. Uh, let's drop off the heavy stuff. Oh, the container is already full. Well, that's not good. Yeah, those those uh, massive stones are really <laughs> very surprisingly. And uh, yeah, 1.5 kilos weight looks good. So I I actually noticed uh, one thing I probably should be making is uh, is it in the equipment. No. Where do I see it? Machines, maybe? Nope. There was, uh... There we go. Portable leaf bed. So it's two rope, two wide leaves, and two narrow leaves. I don't know if I actually know. Well... Yeah, I can make... Make some more rope. With this. Because, yeah, I think the portable bed is gonna gonna be pretty handy when we're out and about. I just hope it, it's not too too heavy. But that way I don't have to keep running back to the back to the base to sleep, so. Yeah, it's two two kilos, so not not too bad. And the Food and water is looking good at the moment, so... And what do I have? Oh, we still have a minor... Minor cut. Steamed leaf bandage. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. What's the worst thing can, that can happen? Oh, one thing I actually wanted to make was, uh... Testing out... The stone spear, since I have the workbench now. Because I, I saw that I can uh, make one of those. So it has base durability of 60, deals at least 15 damage per hit. And what do our what does our regular one do? 8 damage. Okay, so that's way better. So yeah, let's do do one of those as well. Now I can drop off the. Uh, Drop off the regular axe here. And it used the better stone cutter. God dang it. I wanted to keep that. Uh, I should have just dropped off the one that had more durability. To make the stone spear out of the out of the one that's out of durability, but uh, let's do it next time then. Uh, where's the tool? Stone cutter. Let's make one of those. And let's take a few of those to go. Ah, uh, let's just take all of them. That's good. And... Oh, it's evening time already. Ah, what do you know? Yeah, I feel like the day cycle is, uh... Well, it goes, goes by really fast if you're, like, cooking anything or crafting anything or <laughs> doing anything else than just standing there. But I hope I hope they tweak that a little bit at some point. Maybe make, make stuff take less time or, or something. Yeah, you'd, you'd think that uh, with all these all these trees around, I'd be able to find a big branch for the for the hammer. But I guess I just have to try out all the all the different looking trees and see what they give us. No, oh, that's still the mahogany. There's another freaking snake. Some more mahogany. Oh, 
This doesn't give me anything. Oh, I think there's some liana in this tree. Yep. Definitely get all of that. Oh, but our axes. Oh boy. That's... Yeah, let's just do that then and... Yeah, I think it's time for time for bed. So how do I use this? I place. And then just sleep through the night. Hopefully nothing eats me while I sleep. Oh yeah, that, that portable bed is definitely definitely nice to have. Is this a big branch? Nope, just give you small sticks. There's another snake over there. There's some cattails or something. Yep. Let's see what those give us. Been attacked by a pest. Well, light fires and torches. Hello. Go away. Can I, like, get these now? Thank you. The cat tail tinder. That's not really... Really something I need. I'm not really liking the... the woods here. With all the critters and snakes and stuff like that. But I really need the, uh... Oh, does this give me the... Oh yeah, big branches. There we go. And my axe is out of durability, because of course it is. So now I really need to... Need to find some more stones. And I think I need more sticks too. Oh no, I just need one stick, but now I need one stone somewhere. And the stone hasn't really been all that easy to find. snakes everywhere like you'd, you'd think that oh what's this toadstool you'd think there would be some stones around these rock faces but nope absolutely nothing well doesn't that just figure as soon as I find uh Find the branches, I don't <laughs> have the axe durability. <laughs> well, found a long stick. No. Oh, look at this view. That looks like uh, some sort of bird's nest or something. Oh, maybe it's that bird's nest. Is it me or do, does that bird look bigger than I am? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell because that's it's so far away. If, if that's its nest, then it's definitely pretty sizable. Oh, there's some... Animals, are those like piggies or something? No, let's stay focused and try to get the get the rock so we can actually get the get the hammer done. Ow. Didn't look that high off the ground. Yeah, you'd, you'd think like there would be some stones around these rocks here that I could pick up, but nope. I really don't feel like running back to the back to the camp. Oh, we found a 
found a big rock here, but... Can I... Oh yeah, I can make it into small ones. That's really good. Now, now we should be able to get the, uh... Get the branch if I can find the tree that gave me the branches. So let's craft the, uh... Craft the stone axe first. And let's swap it out with that one. I really want the want the vine too, but it takes like over half of our axe durability. Well, we can make make more of those now that we have some stone on us. But I have no no clue what the tree looked like that I was able to harvest the branches from. So that could be an issue. There we go. Yep, got four big branches and six new blueprints. Alrighty. So we can make a wood shovel, a stone hammer, wooden hammer. Okay, so that's one, one, one. Okay, so I think the four is a decent amount. We can make a hot out of leaves with that thing too and also make handles with those that's interesting should probably see if I can get some more while I'm here and there goes the axe again and I'm overweight well let's feed some of these while we're here so, how are we doing on... Yeah, still a little bit... Eh, I'll just drop that, and... Yeah, that looks good. I'll, I'll definitely keep a hold of the... All of the eggs. Oh, well, wouldn't you know it? There's a big branch just laying there. Uh, ignitration... Oh, that's even better, Tinder. So... Let's just drop that... What else do I not need at the moment? That's not gonna do much for us. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna eat that. And yeah, these are pretty heavy, so then we should be able to move at least. But I'm really slow, so okay, so the sun's over there, so our outposts should be over this way. But, yeah, I'll bring you guys back once we're back at the base and ready for some building. So, see you there. Alright, we're back at the outpost again and uh, ready to make the, make the hammer, hopefully, to finish up the water collector finally. That was a chore and a half. So, where's the, uh, where do we make, is it here, no, do we just make it in our backpack? Stone hammer. Yeah, the I can make the wooden hammer, but it has a durability of 100, and, and the stone hammer has a durability of 150, and that way I can also make some room in the in the chest, because for some reason the chests are also weight-based, and, and the massive stone is really, really heavy, so... Let's see here. Can we... Yep, now we can make that. Choose to do it in, in smaller, like, odd hour increments if I want to. So, oh, I got another perk point, nice. So, the container to exchange. Okay, so I have to make another coconut flask to get, get the uh, water to go, but at least now it should be collecting if it's raining. And then we can... Hopefully, nope, couldn't drop all of them off, but I need the stone from here. 
the toolkit, as well as some long sticks. And can I now drop the... Yep, there we go. And I should be able to move around too, so let's make sure we have everything we need for the house. Or at least the foundations of one. Yep, looking pretty good. Don't don't think we're gonna get like uh, anything big going on here, but should be able to do at least something. Uh, do I? Yeah, I think this this will be pretty good. We got a nice nice view of the open ocean and a little island over there. We can explore once we once we get our vessels going. It looks like we're still we need some hide for the for the vessels. So that'll be that'll be interesting to get get sailing at some point. But uh yeah let's uh hammer tool is required. Well don't I have the hammer tool? What happened to my Yeah, I have the stone hammer. Do I need to have it in my hand? Oh okay, so you can just uh click the middle mouse button to get to the building menu once you have the um, have the hammer. That's handy, so I think I'll just uh, start Yeah, let's start over here. Why not? Oh, need a place. Use your mighty hammer. Move. Decorating. Upgrading. Demolishing. Okay. That's, that's neat. So, can I... Yep. There's another one. I think I'm gonna start by with a 2x2. Two because two, I don't think I have much. Much in the way of uh, stone. For, I think it was stone that the... Yeah, yeah, I don't think I have... Well, I have six, so I can make a two by three, I guess. Let's, let's do that. Why not? Go. And G to cancel. And... Place resources. Build. Place resources. Build. I have too many of those building kits left, but I'll make some more between the episodes. Yeah, I only got two, so I can maybe do like a staircase or something. Yeah, let's uh, place a staircase. Looks like a good place. And then we can, yeah, let's just put a wall with a door and that's, <laughs> that's pretty much what we can do at, at this point. I wonder if I kind of want to have like a little deck out here, so I'll just start the wall from there and then let's uh, build that. Yeah, look at that. I wonder what the number threes are. Maybe it's because I have the... Yeah, yeah, it's because I have the... Hammer out, so I can... Oh, I can move and disassemble these. That's nice. Can I actually move my storage and stuff with the hammer too? That would be really nice. Yes, I can. That's great. I'll, I'll do a little bit of uh, more of uh, off-camera gathering and stuff and hopefully be able to expand the building next time. And uh, once we got ourselves a little base here, we'll definitely do some some more exploring. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. 
Uh, check out my friends. Link in the description. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time.